If it's so hard for us as Kabbalists uh, 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 or students of Kabbalah to achieve the purpose of loving unselfishly, how will the rest of the world achieve it? Great question. Uh, I would say this. Do you, do you, Yvette, do you know how to use your microwave? You know, I'm guessing you say yes. Uh, do you know how to use your washing machine? I'm guessing you say yes. Do you know how to use your phone? Probably yes, right? But uh, most likely, you don't really, really know how it works, right? Moreover, you probably don't exactly know the laws of physics and chemistry upon which all these devices are, are built. You know, you haven't been there, uh, uh, probably part of those very spe specific people, uh, you know, in science and engineering who were there putting together the, you know, the, the, the sets of laws that are required and did all the experiments that are required to later create the devices. But you do know how to push a button on a microwave and heat up your cup of whatever it is, your, your soup, okay, or turn on your washing machine. My point is that this process of spiritual transformation that we're going through in humanity is happening like a pyramid. Again, like Seth said in the beginning, all of humanity is divided to four degrees, to four levels, still vegetative, animate, human, animate and human. That exists in humanity as well with regards to the spiritual process within humanity you also have four yeah right. and so you Yvette are most likely from the higher levels of that pyramid in when it comes to spiritual transformation now ultimately we're all Safa, equal hold on. time out yeah. time out for a second yeah we talked about the four colors of humanity that this is something else yeah any color person can be at the highest part of the period we're talking now spiritually it's we're not just talking about skin color yeah right so spirit any color Absolutely. Spiritually speaking, we are a, a spiritual entity that is also divided to four degrees of development. So some people develop first, some people develop later, and some people develop last. last. And the, those who develop first are fewer, much fewer, much less than those who develop afterwards. So the kind of work that we need to do as those who feel this desire for spiritual growth, for spiritual love, as the pioneers is very different we uh, uh, and that is comparable to you know we need to go into the hardcore of the spiritual system and understand how it works and really experience it from practical attainment and become one with it but then for the rest of humanity it could be as simple as just going to school for for a couple of years and just going through the program you know, it could be as simple as playing a video game, literally, that uh, um, helps them expand their mind and expand their heart. It could be a different kind of advertising system. We're talking about a, uh, uh, this system, this method, this spiritual transformation. It needs to clothe into our world in various shapes and forms that, like Seth said, we don't know exactly how it will look. But these devices will have to be built because humanity, all of it, has to change. There's not going to be a choice. We're going to have to inevitably become consciously connected to each other and build a whole new society here that does that on a regular basis.